Hello everyone, my name is Hong. Today I'm going to talk about how do I fix the error code 14 that I encountered in the iTunes software while I'm trying to update or restore my iPhone through the iTunes software. So you are encountering this um, in the progress of you click on the button restore iPhone it keep loading the self download the image and it started to try to install it on your phone and while the loading bar only reaches maybe about 10% then it pops up a error message saying that error 14 so you're trying to figure out what is that so you click on the more info button and then you reach the page here that Apple trying to tell you um, what kind of problem that is so it tells you that try a try a um, Apple USB cable first that came with the device and or maybe you want to try a different USB cable a different USB port um, and eventually a different computer so I personally haven't tried it yet tried it on a different computer because I only have one computer um, in my house so I've tried other few options that it suggests but it doesn't work so yeah and there are some people saying that there's it's because of the image that you download are corrupted in some ways I don't know why but they said it this way you download the image from Apple and it's corrupted anyways some people say deleting them deleting the already downloaded image and let it redownload it solve their problem so I'm going to show you how to do it first but that doesn't work for me but I'm going to show you first okay so you had to your computer had to see where you install your windows and then had to users right users had to your users name and then you need to go to app data folder but if you cannot see the folder then you press or turn a key on your keyboard ALT and then have the tools options views browse down here and you can see show hidden file folders and drivers click OK check on it and click OK and you should see the the um, transparency folder head into there go to roaming if I pronounce it right and then head to Apple computer and then iTunes Windows no iPhone software updates and then you should see a file here which is a um, IPSW file type as you can see here it will look like this something like this so um, you want to delete it and then you click on it once again the restore iPhone button then it will ask you to accept certain kind of thing and then it will start to download again and then install again but if that doesn't work then the following is what works for me okay so update your USB driver that is that is the end of the video I wanted to put it uh, in the beginning but I thought I want to go through some easier methods maybe that works for you but that doesn't work for me so eventually I solve it by updating my USB drivers I don't know why maybe um, some USB drivers complex 
with each other, I don't know, just update it. So, if you know how to update it, then you can close my video and just just go update your USB drivers. And if you do not know how to update your USB driver or you're not certain with what to do, then here's how to do it. First, you need to know which brand of USB which brand is making your USB drivers okay most noticeably two types two brand AMD and the um, Intel as you can see here AMD some look like this and then Intel you know here if you do not know which one is your USB drivers which company made your USB drivers then you might want to download a software called CPU-C which is completely free and ad free so you install it and then you just google it on yeah just google it on google <laughs> and install it start it up and it will show you something like this this software uses to show all kinds of things that within the box of the computer so like what type of CPU you're using the RAM and the motherboard graphics card something like that you just take a look here on the um, main board it will show you the model type of your motherboard and then you just search it search the name of your motherboard and you'll find the um, website that it's about your model of motherboard and you will see a USB drivers there and you find out which brand there or maybe you can just download the the drivers that it provides you but I would choose to download it from AMD or Intel itself because it's more updated rather than some diff, um, other company that provides they may not update as often so yeah after you have downloaded it, installed it, reboot and then solve the problem that works for me okay Apart from that, apart from that, I believe, I hope that you can actually solve the problem by this way. And apart from that, I want to comment on the iOS 11, which is a um, completely crap iOS, I would say. 11.0.1, 11.0.2, and the worst of all, 11.0.3 is the current version of a uh, public release stable iOS version. I've tried it more and I've encountered lots of problems like um, the phone restarting itself, getting black screen, freezing screen. Um, reboot while I'm talking to somebody on the phone which is completely unusable because it happens like few times within an hour so it's completely not acceptable so I tried to um, restore it in a Restore it to iOS 11.0.3 like they suggested because it's the most updated public release and the problem still exists so I tried it to resign their resign am I using it right just get into their developer program you go to their website said you wanted to be a part of the developer and then you allowed it to download the beta version they are current currently releasing which is a 11.1 1, 
beta 4 and just download there install it I have encountered only two times of uh, restarting itself in a few days of course there are other problems like the calculator is um, not precise but it improves the um, set stability by reducing the rebooting loop or something like that so I would suggest you to install a developer version my version is my the version I'm using is 11.1 beta 4 which improves a lot from 11.0.3 which is unusable yes that's it if you cannot because um, you get into the developer program you need to start your phone first and follow the instruction using your phone so it register your phone as a developer phone and then you download it through the Wi-Fi something like that or maybe you might not want to first install a iOS 11.0.3 first and then update it on 11.1 you just want to install the 11.1 on the computer right away and you will need to search the iOS 11.1 beta 4 specifically for your phone version and then you can uh, go to this page again but you press the left shift on the keyboard and then left click on the restore update and it will pop up uh, okay I didn't you need to close it first if you're like me just press the left shift button and then press the restore or update and it will let you pick which IPS dub IPSW that it's a uh, to install so yeah that's about it that's about it is there anything I'm omitting mm. no I think that is if I think of anything I would add it in the description or on, on, on the video thanks for watching hope this helps you um, yeah see you in the next video maybe not bye bye